Hi, I'm Mike Glenn, and I wrote the book, The Gospel of Yes. You know, the book comes out of a lot of conversations with friends of mine who were trying to do their best to live a good life. The problem is we knew all the things that didn't make up for a good life. We knew all the things that we were supposed to be against. We could get that list. We just had no clue what we were to be for. Nobody had ever told us. You see, I grew up in a small church where every Sunday I was told what not to do. And then the next Sunday, we'd all get together and praise God we hadn't done anything. But here's the problem with that. Being against simply isn't enough. Being against something doesn't mean you're for the other side of it. Uh, for instance, being against divorce doesn't make you for marriage. Being against hunger doesn't mean you're going to help somebody find something to eat. Living against simply isn't enough reason to get up and face the day. You have to know what you live for. You know, it's interesting that in the middle of the Sermon on the Mount, Jesus teaches this very thing. It's in one little verse, verse 37 of chapter 5. Jesus says to his disciples, let your yes be yes and your no be no. Anything other than that is demonic. Now, when I was a kid in church, that was the proof text for no cursing. Jesus said, let your yes be yes and your no be no. Anything other than that is wrong. Well, the problem with that is I grew up in a long line of storytellers. We said a lot more than yes and no. Here's the other part. That is a hard way to go for saying more than yes and no. But what if there's another way to read it? What if Jesus is saying to his followers, listen, let your yes be yes and your no be no. Anything other than your yes and your no is wrong. That gives us a different way to think about it. In fact, that gives us a different way to live altogether. What if I go through my life understanding what my yes is, who I am in Christ, and the purpose for which I was called? What if I say yes to that and no to everything else? Now, your first response to that is, wow, that's a very restricted way to live. That's very limiting. It's the banks of the river that give the river its power. There is a power and a freedom that happens when you line your life up with what God is already doing in His world. A synergy that happens when your life syncs up with what the Spirit is doing around you. That's what I want for you. That's why I'm doing all of this. I want you to know your yes. Throughout Scripture, God finds time after time again to get with His people and tell them yes. That's what He wants to tell you. Not give you a long list of all the things to be against, but to give you the one thing to be for. Remember, the word is yes.